They have been married now for 15 years, right? I mean, no one knows the Prophet ﷺ better than her. And so those words of confidence coming from your spouse are particularly significant. This isn't some poet in front of the Kaaba, you know, uh, saying all these words about, it's your wife, your spouse, saying that about you. Also knowing that rich people, wealthy people, usually don't do the things that you do. The Prophet ﷺ was not transformed by his wealth, by the wealth that came to him when he married Khadija. But instead he used that for more noble things and more truthful um, and charitable things. And this here makes Khadija radiallahu anha not just, you know, subhanAllah, the first believer here, right? She actually is believing in the Prophet ﷺ before the Prophet ﷺ is certain of himself. Think about how incredible that is. She's telling the Prophet ﷺ before he's sure of himself that I'm sure of you. That's tasdiq before, you know, confirming, you know, his truthfulness before even hearing it from him. I'm sure you are upon the truth. I'm sure that Allah would not let you uh, be disgraced. She says, let's go to Waraqah, right? That was her idea to go to Waraqah. فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Ask the people of knowledge if you don't know any better. And by the way, we mentioned Waraqah made this comment and said that if I live to see when your people run you out, لَأَنْسُرَنَّكَ نَصْرًا مُؤَزَّرًا That I will support you with everything I have. I will consume myself. I'll stand by your side and fight along your side. You think Khadija radiallahu anha sitting there, hearing Waraqah say that didn't affect her? Like that's going to be my mission then, right? I mean, if you were to describe Khadija's support for the Prophet ﷺ, it's Nasran Mu'azra. It is undying support throughout it all. It is what Waraqa desired to do that Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha would do. Uh, after that time, remember there was a pause where Jibreel did not come back for some time. The Prophet ﷺ was seeing Jibreel alayhi salam um, in human form, in his, in his human figure. But the Prophet ﷺ was not able to confirm anything at this point. He hadn't been called at this point. Khadija radiallahu anha says, إِذَا جَاءَكَ صَاحِبُكَ هَذَا فَأَخْبِرْنِي Listen, if you see Jibreel again, the next time you see him, I want you to tell me. So the Prophet ﷺ said, I see him. Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha said, sit on my right side. So the Prophet ﷺ sat on her right side. She said, Atara, do you see him? The Prophet ﷺ said, yes. She said, sit on my left side. She said, do you see him? He said, yes. So then Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha uh, sat behind him, put her arms around him and her legs around him. So like he's sitting, you know, in her grasp. And then on top of that, she takes off, her, now it says she removed her khimar, meaning she removed, uh, you know, at that, you know, the khimar, at that point, the women used to wear something on their head. And then obviously when the, when the order came down, then they, then they moved it o- uh, over and they tied it, right? So she removed her khimar and she held him and she said, Atara, do you see him? And the Prophet ﷺ said, no. <laughs> this is an interesting narration, right? And then she says, Uthbut fa'innahu malak wa laysa bi shaytan. She said, be firm, this is an angel, not a devil. <laughs> That's Khadija radiallahu anha. What just happened, right? Even the Prophet sallallahu what do you mean? How do you know? Because she was talking about the haya of Jibreel alayhi salam, the modesty of this angel. She said that if it was a shaytan, the shaytan would stay around. But Jibreel had modesty and shyness, that this angel would have modesty and shyness, so the angel would not stay if he perceived intimacy or something of that lines. Jibreel alayhi salam would give salam from the outside. So Khadija radiallahu anha is figuring this out. <laughs> As a woman, obviously she's the cousin of Waraqa, she's a wise woman, a noble woman, but she's, she's figuring things out herself and she is guided naturally towards his goodness and this is what we hear from the you know that, that the prophet ﷺ said there are people who are muhaddathun they are just guided to natural goodness by the angels like umar bin khattab it's as if they're receiving revelation because they're just they, they they have certain inclinations and so then the prophet ﷺ, obviously some time passes and he does not he does not get the command of revelation. So though he saw Jibreel alayhi salam, the Prophet did not get revelation. Again, if he's fabricating this, 
And if the Prophet ﷺ was cooking up this story for a very long time, at the age of 40, he would have prepared the groundwork, came out and said, everyone, it has come to me, you know, and, and he would have had this grand entrance, right? But there are months passing by. And Khadija is the one comforting him. And then, subhanAllah, the hadith of Jabir ibn Abdullah, where the Prophet ﷺ uh, went out and he saw Jibreel alayhi salam in his full angelic form. This was the first time he saw Jibreel alayhi salam in his full angelic form, sitting on a throne between the heavens and the earth, covering the entirety of the horizon and coming near the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam ran back to Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha, once again said, Zammiruni, Zammiruni. Khadija radiallahu anha embraced the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, though this time, there's a history that happened some time ago, right? Where she knows what must have happened. And at that moment, the next revelation of the Quran, Surah Al Muddathir. Ya ayyuha al Muddathir, kum fa'anvir. O oh, you who is wrapped up, stand up and call. That revelation comes to the Prophet while he's in the arms of Khadija. Think about how significant that is. That the, the revelation of Surah Al Muddathir came to the Prophet. In the arms of Khadija, radiallahu ta'ala anha, O oh, you who is wrapped up, arise and warn, and your Lord magnify and keep pure your garments and, and desert the idols, abandon the idols. So subhanAllah, when the Prophet sees Jibreel in human form the first time, he goes to her. When he sees him in angelic form, he goes to her again. And Surat al Muddathir is revealed in her arms, radiallahu ta'ala anha. And after Surah al muddathir came, the Prophet ﷺ said, you are the first one I'm calling to this message. And Khadija radiallahu anha said, and I am the first one to accept this message. I'm not going to question it. Absolutely no hesitation supporting him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So she, she is the first Muslim, the first believer, the first of many things as I'll say. And the Prophet ﷺ says, مَضَى عَهْدُ النَّوْمِ that sleep is gone. <laughs> We're not going to sleep anymore after this, right? The time of sleep is gone. That time of just peace that we had is gone now. That the tri tribulations that are going to come, that Waraqa warned of, certainly those tribulations will come. <laughs>